Hello and good evening to all of you at home. This is Peter Brackley. It's the International Cup, the final match, Colombia versus France. Now we've invited Trevor Brooking to provide us with match analysis today, so welcome to the game, Trevor. Thanks for the introduction, Peter, and hello, viewers. Just taken. This is the formation we're expecting the team to use. Fans are in good voice as we get underway. Let's pick the sides for you. Attacking from right to left, France. Attacking from left to right, Colombia. Plays it out to the right. Trezeguet. He takes it off to the side. Both sides are too hurried in possession. They've got a free kick. Went right over the goal line. Goal kick here. Down the line. He goes square. It is. Doesn't manage to get that one through. The referee calls a foul. There must have been some pushing there. The referee has pulled him over for a quick word. This could be an opportunity. He's gone for it. Nice try, but a blistering effort. In a little bit of accuracy. Slides it through. And they've got behind the fullback. A chance for an opener. Takes the shot. The keeper spreads himself well. Somehow the keeper kept it out. Yes, he saved them there. There's no need for them to hurry. It's into the face of goal. That is a poor clearance. And he launches it forward. Plays it through. It's through. Oh, well held there. Yes, good handling from the keeper. It's easily picked up. Carries the ball through the middle. From way out. Oh, just a touch too high. Passes forward. Passes it over to the left. Too long and out of play. A long ball to the left. Runs with the ball towards the right flank. Cleared away.
They'll have to do better than that to seriously trouble this keeper. And that's it for the first 45 minutes. Lots of shots, but still goalless. Both sides have lacked accuracy in front of goal. Let's hope we see some better finishing in the second half. So at half time, it's Colombia nil, France nil. These are the highlights of the first half. See what effect the half-time break has on the teams. Let's see if the second half is as tight as the first. They're rolling the ball around neatly. A long ball forward. Down the left. That's well struck. He punched the ball for safety. Somehow the keeper kept it out. Yes, that will give them a chance to catch their breath, but only for a moment. The defence is going to have to be on their toes. Short pass. Down the middle. Rolls it to his right. Plays the ball forward. Tries to slice open the defence. He's free through the middle. Shoots! The keeper blocks it. That was a remarkable bit of goalkeeper. Things are getting very physical in there. Fires one in. They win the throw deep inside the opponent's half. Another throw. Could this be the opening? There's the shot. The keeper makes the stop. It's clear. Rolls it forward. He's trying to carve open the defence. They're breaking quickly here. Almost 75 minutes have gone. He continues his run down the left. Sends it to the right. Great ball, knocks it through to the front line. Looks promising so far. He has to hit the target from there. Vienna. A long ball to the right. Down the left flank. Pushes it forward. Pushing further forward. Ninety minutes have passed on the clock. Now we're into stoppage time. There's nothing between the teams after 90 minutes of football, so we're set for silver goal, extra time. Trevor, any comments on the game so far? Well, it's not been a bad game, but I've got to say I'd like a goal.
first period of extra time is underway and both teams will be looking for that silver goal. So both teams have to start all over again. And now they switch the ball to the right. He takes the ball sideways. This is a low cross. No, it doesn't pick out his man. Knocks it forward. A chance for the first goal. And he's gone for goal. That was a very dangerous ball. That completes the first period of extra time. So we've had the first 15 minutes of extra time. Still, we're no closer to knowing who's going to go on to win this extraordinary game. Well, it's been such a good game, Peter. In many ways, you don't want it to end. It really is a shame that one of these two teams must... The players must be close to exhaustion now as the second period of extra time gets underway. Defences have been on top so far in extra time. Heads it back. He handled it very well indeed. Great diving save by the keeper. Passes the ball to the left. He takes it off to the side. He cleared. Moves the ball towards the left flank. Can he keep it going? Looking for the shot. What a fantastic finish! Inside the final few minutes of extra time. It was a badly needed goal. It's his third goal of the competition. Well, he's really finding his form now. The atmosphere here is totally electric. A goal like that will always give your team a huge boost. Now, let's take a look at the replay. Surely that puts the result beyond all doubt, Trevor. Well, it's not over till it's over, but you can't see them coming back now. Nods it back. There's the final whistle. They are the International Cup winners. They pick up the title. You remember this day forever, wherever you are today, they are the champions. It's always good to see such a hard-fought match, and especially when it decides the championship. Look at those celebrations. It just shows you what winning the title means to the players.
championship trophy is handed to the captain. And this will certainly be a day to remember. And the fans here going absolutely popping as they greet their heroes face to face. A fine finale to a great tournament. We've nearly run out of time. Trevor Brooking was with me, giving his usual insight in the commentary box. Trevor, thank you. It's my pleasure, Peter. Today's broadcast was brought to you by me, Peter Bradley. And that's it for today. We'll meet again soon, hopefully. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.